Hello boys, you're also welcome back to an episode of Let's Play 4 Play I Play. We're back playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. And we're going to duel freaking Unniles Endgame. Where the hell that guy is? The final Shadow Rider, Unnial, appeared and took Chaz, Alexis, and Professor Banner's spirit keys. Unnial was now after Jade and Yuki. And the final key! Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let's see. So, we fought fucking... I'm trying to think. Uh, we fought Atticus. A fucking vampire, um, and a, and an Amazonis, and uh, oh, hold on, I'm missing. Okay, this, okay, that's one, two, three. Uh, what was the last guy we dueled? It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh shoot! Uh, and we dueled Titan. I'm pretty sure we're missing like oh, that's four. That's four people. We're, we're missing about like two other people. Whatever. We're gonna have to duel freaking Don Zalug. No. We're just gonna skip straight to to Banner to 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 Doctor Banner. Alright, fine, whatever. Let's see. While well, searching for an Amnil, Jaden is. Uh, the, the ancient pharaoh from the past, there we go, that's that's the seventh one. While well, searching for an Amnil, Jaden and his friends were led to the abandoned door. Exploring the door, they discovered a mysterious cave with a large coffin in the corner. Pushing aside the cover revealed the mummified remains of Professor Banner. But to their greatest surprise, Amnil emerged from the shadows and removed his mask to reveal that he was also Professor Banner in disguise! Two Professor Banners? Talk about deja vu! If you're you, then who's that mummy? Do not call me Banner. I am Amnaya, your greatest foe. To get any of your friends back, you'll have to defeat me. Oh my god, Professor Banner, whatever happened to you? Hey, you cannot defeat me. You will be joining them. All of you! Come on, Prof, step it out! It's better that you get the one you knew as Banner. He is no more. What do you mean, no more? To understand everything, you must do just one thing. And that is to do it and defeat me, Jaden! Only then will the truth be revealed. Only then will the secrets be unlocked. Will you accept this challenge? Will you face me? Of course I'll face you! Let's throw down! Alright, I guess we're gonna just go through this duel and have no explanation at all. You know, it's a pretty damn fun explanation! Shame we didn't get to uh, interact with this cat banner. Wait, Pharaoh. Interact with this cat Pharaoh, that's right. Mmm, yes. I don't know where I am. I don't know where you are. I sure do enjoy myself some fancy feast. Yeah, yeah. Pharaoh enjoys being fancy. Yeah. I sure am a pretty kitty. Yeah. Just look at it, that guy. Just look at him. You know, you know the guy has to go through like a bunch of uh, skin conditioners just to get all silky smooth again. Garuda of the wind. Oh wait, is it bringing our spirit monsters? Oh, is this just a sink? Uh, okay. Ooh, it's gonna be a bit tough. Let's go then. Got polarization. Can you imagine a, a, a hero deck without polymerization? <laughs> He'd be freaking crazy. I mean, like, well, I mean, like, unless they got like freaking mask or something. But yeah, mask heroes. Who ever heard such a concept? Mask your face to the public. It's all kinds of ridiculous. Man, I want to watch Common Rider now. That is a good show. Well, oh, boys and girls, now I can see why you don't blow your lower off too early. There's a full up to it. Your partner would be like, oh, is, is that all? Is that it? And then you like, go through a, 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 a very, very slow, uh, a very slow drawl into it. As, as, you, as they finish themselves off. I guess this guy, all he can do is just defend. And that's it. Well, I've already won, and this is embarrassing. Wait, what? Well, that was freaking pointless. One, two, look, what? What? Oh! 
Oh, we're gonna deal, we're gonna deal with that. All right, fine, whatever. I guess that's how we wash the sheets in the house. La 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 la. Oh, like that, you lost. I apply fusion recovery. <sighs> yeah, a shame that Jaden never put Seam here in his deck, and his extra deck. It'll be really useful. Just gain life points. Yeah, for your Amnaz deck. So I'm gonna say this is freaking interesting as hell. You know? A deck that uses spirit monsters in banishment, just in case you don't have Macros of Cosmos or Dimension Fish on the field. The mummy is me. My body was ravaged by a curse, and I knew what had had to be done. I used alchemy to create a new body and place my soul inside of it. Wait, 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 wait. Is the freaking better create a freaking homunculus? Oh my god, why does he share the secrets of the world? Oh, well, maybe this is why he's, he's teaching alchemy. But it is only a matter of time before this body is a pile of dust in the wind. No, just make yourself another body, mate. I, I don't see how that's hard. Professor Banner! Jaden, listen carefully to me, my boy. Everything was I did was to test you, and to prepare you for the real evil to come. That is why I also became a Shadow Rider. Rider. Not to take over the world, but to stop the ones who was try truly trying to. You had to become a better Zuna so that you could face him, and hopefully defeat him. The threat is so, so grave that I had to deceive you. I hope that you forgive me. It's over. He's gone. So what now? Who's gonna watch our dorm? Oh god! Simon Ryan Torres is appearing! Oh god! Jaden! I... I don't feel so good! Uh. Okay, but what are we really? Uh. No, this is different. Peter gave his life to prepare us for the evil that's coming. I just hope we're right because we're about to face... What we're about to face is going to be unlike anything we've ever faced before. <laughs> oh. Okay. Guess we're doing this. Oh, just look at that sexy beast, you know? God just coming out full of lava. This is a bathtub. Such a power move right there. Such a straight up power move. You know, the guy's just, just whipping his dick about it's like, mm, doesn't matter what size it is, just, 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 this guy just, just radiates big dick energy. That's the most important part, though. It's very a big dick energy. I mean, you get a small dick, you have a tiny dick energy, man. A big dick, tiny dick energy. I mean, that's the case when most people brag about the dick size. Small dick energy. Really small. You exit that big dick energy. Especially in dueling. Especially in dueling. The true, le the true leader of the Shadow Riders has revealed himself as Kage Maru, the superintendent and founder of Duel Academy. He challenged Jaden to a duel, hoping to use his sacred beast cards to take over the world. Wait! So this place, right, was, was built to, to hold the sacred beast cards. And yet, the superintendent, the founder of Duel Academy, had to send out seven freaking Shadow Riders to get his cards back. What the hell? What? What, what even? No. Oh, oh. Wow. Mate, uh, you, you, you're looking a bit, uh, uh... You're looking a bit old there, mate. You, you, you alright? I will lose cool. <laughs> now I return for my sacred beast cards. What? I, I can't hear you. You need to speak up. I said, I'm really cool, and I can't remember I had to be This guy has a full set of teeth for being so old. You know, most likely it's probably false teeth. I am Kagemaru, Master of the Shadow Games. It was I who... Uh, who sealed the cards here. It was I who gave Shepard the seven keys. You know, this, this, it was him who gave the seven keys. So it doesn't make sense. But those keys are worthless. To unlock the spirit gates, all that's required is tooling energy. Oh, you know, actually, that makes more sense. Energy that you expended trying to protect those keys. By the way, this was not exp this was not uh, uh, explained in the show, because in the show, uh, Chaz was dueling against Alexis, and apparently Chaz lost. And for some reason, the, the keys just kind of flew out of nowhere into the into the case. You know, 
So I'm just wondering, like, what the hell is going on here? Also, this guy happens to recruit people in the Shadow Realm? The freaking Shadow Realm? How does that work? This guy connected to the Dark Arts or something? That makes you, 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 you spicy, he's a little convoluted there, mate, but okay. This is why I arranged for all the best tools in the world to come here. I hope year after year, class after class, that student would rise enough dueling spirit to unlock the power of the cards. And all it took was a horny ass kid. <sighs> my plan is genius. <sighs> My shot oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm feeling a bit winded here. This disguise dialogue is uh, making me lose a lot of energy. My shadow rise was sent to test you, and only one passed. One with the potential to finally unlock the sacred beast and give me energy, the strength to rule the world. My opponent will be. Oh, wow, I'm feeling really lightheaded here. Wow, I'm. Hold on. So let me give me one to catch my breath here. I feel like I'm going to faint. My opponent will be Judah Yugi. Excuse me, what? You have proven to be the only tools with the power to unlock the sacred beast cards. And if you refuse, I will see to that this island and everyone on it sinks to the depths of the ocean deep. Wow. This guy, uh. Hold on, hold on. Wow, okay, I am I'm never do that again. You know, I'm just gonna expend my dialogue as fast as possible. You can't! You can't do anything with these beast sacred beast cards! Let the shadow game begin! Oh. Wow, Kagemaru! Oh. I guess you took a Viagra. You seem to be bulging a muscle, your head turning black. Watch out, the last one than six hours, you probably see, should see a doctor. We'll perish, you know, see how old you are. I mean like, at this point it's probably pointless. But to be fair, Kagemaru might not be that old at all. You know, probably the white hand and the, the, the croating body could be the fact that he just smokes a lot. Smokes about three packs a day. Saying to himself, you know, this probably kills me, you know, but fuck it, I was YOLO. And realize he wants to save your beast cards, so as soon as he realized that, he's like, oh shit, I ruined my body. Because I just use the, 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 Oh. Oh, he's, he's using the essence of children. Well, wow, this this is just suddenly just got a lot creepier. I I I just never considered it before. Oh. Ugh. Wow. This is, this is all types creepy now. Oh, I'm not sorry. Well, now that I brought all those monsters out, now I should probably play just Sparkman on the field. Ah, I see. Good thing elemental hero decks don't need a type. All I need to know is it's just, just a hero, and that's it. Wait, what? What's going on here? Quantum cats. Ooh, wow. Good thing I didn't summon freaking up. Wait, wait, what? Wait, 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 why could he even use this before? Healing power. What, what's for the most Uh, okay. I don't get what's going on, but oh, all right, fine. Guess I'll just set this card face down. I'll just go to the next turn. I, I think this guy's just stalling. He knows what's up. I'm just saying. I'm just bring. I'm just going on spot mats. What is up with this deck? You only need two copies of the cards, and that's it! Unless it's three, but that's that's in like special circumstances. Like Hero Kids. Or Karibo. Right, finally something that makes sense. Palm Rice Station! You know what, in hindsight, I probably should have, uh... I probably should have saved this, uh... I should have saved that Unplayed Us Punk Man. Alright, Elements of Hero Thunder Giants, I have your effects, but it's got a one card. Hey, throw one card on your side of the field. That's a monster. 
Secret beat scars, probably not as useful as you think. Pretty freaking terrible. Especially with all the effort you gotta, through, gotta go through to summon them. The what? I mean, it's not like he has, like, uh, what is it? Ra Raviel in his hand. I'm alright. I'm right. You know, I, could, I, you know, I should just follow the scout cards, and that's it. Wow, that was uh, anticlimactic. Yeah, to be honest, I was, I was kind of hoping this uh, duel would be lo last lo 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 longer for uh, a fun finale episode. Okay. Impossible! The secret beast cannot be defeated! What, what the? Are you okay? It's true. I'm an old man. Wanting simply what every old man wants. To be young again. It hurts. Okay, just begin. Just, just, just by, just by doing that voice, just makes me lightheaded. I don't know why. In order to see the maybe it's because I'm losing oxygen because I'm just like wheezing out so much. In order to see the power of the secret beast was the only way I found to do it. Yeah, and to take over the world. Can't you forgive a decrepit old soul? Yeah, I guess. But don't you see, old timer? Stealing power from something or someone isn't in any way to feel alive again. You've got to find a strength in yourself. And then he died. Magna Chumlada. Yeah, fuck okay, it. That's, that's an awesome name for a deck. Well, uh, oh. Oh, oh, I guess uh, that's not the end yet. Alright. I guess we'll deal with this. Chumley entered Industrial Illusion's car design contest and won. But since he hadn't passed the exams yet, Dr. Crowell only agreed to give him a recommendation if he passed his, his, his exam. Chumley hasn't passed his exam? Now what kind of school will we be to send Pegasus some flunky? If Chumley can't beat me in a duel, then I'll let him go. Ruh! But if he loses, he will be expelled immediately. Don't be nervous. This all will simply affect the rest of your life. Ruh. Well, are you waiting for an invitation? Uh, wait, who are we doing as? Krala or, or Chumley? No, I want to do as Chumley. I want to get his freaking Wizard of Oz deck. No? Alright, fine. I play in Duel Links and just like played someone using a uh, Battle of Oz deck. Kick my ass every time I played him. So which is why every time I just I find him, I just like give up immediately. And because I know he's gonna kick my ass. So many fusion cards. Hmm. What should I play? Hmm. Huh. That I just got. Mm, no, no legacies. Why, why would people have this ancient gear cannon deck? This is even like a very viable card. She's like failing. Unless your pet, unless your pet has like less than 500. But in any case, it's just useless. Guess I'll just set this guy face down right. She should have chose ancient gear workshop. Oh well, we win some, we lose some. And I thought I had my turn. <clears throat> well, I cannot do Crowler voice. What's with the V in his name? Why does it dip so slightly? Hmm. Hmm. Plus a green. What does it do? This is what it does. Oh, just have to look crap. Okay, fine. But uh, it is cute. It's added from the deck with Gregor today, which I use plus a green, by the way. Uh, except by drawing. Oh, I see. Uh, right, fine, whatever. Whatever smokes your gears. Still feeling lightheaded. That's why I'm not talking that much. Iris Rock Sunrise. I thought that was a field card. Which means I've been playing it wrong all this time. Hmm. 
Alright, what could I do? What could I do? What could I do? Uh... Shut up, phone! I don't need you here! So many choices, just so many choices. Oh! Oh no. No, 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 no. You're not gonna get the better of me, mate. Yo, Yo screw yourself. I feel sad being up uh, on Chumley, but you know. <sighs> kind of uh, comes with territory around here. Well, since a lot of monsters are, are level 5 or higher, it's a good thing you can draw Ancient Gear Workshop! Oh, what, what was it? Ancient Gear Castle? Ancient Gear Soldier! You might be wondering myself, oh, why am I not playing Ancient Gear Workshop? Why am I not play Ancient Gear Factory? Well, mind your own business. Also, I tend to forget a lot. What did he do? Oh shoot. Nope. 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 Take this. Piss off and die. Don't worry, I'll get this back. Welcome to Funky Town! It's made of gears. Right. Ancient Gear Golem! Now play Ancient Gear Factory! Alright, let's get on with this. Oh, I guess we won't be needing gearbox. <laughs> uh, I'm horrible. Oh, this one, yeah. Did I read that fact right? Uh, double the reveal. Oh, revealed monster, that's right. So I need 16 levels. <laughs> uh, I'm, da I'm bad at reading. I ain't got time to read. I already know the effects. I've memorized them. <laughs> Stop that crying. It's true that you lost this duel, but losing doesn't mean failing. Huh? This duel is not win or lose, but improve your ability. Huh? For the talent you displayed today, how can I ever fail you? Haru Meki. Oh, you know, to be honest, that that was that was pretty. No, no stupid mistakes were made by the AI here. That's pretty fair. I would recommend you for the position at Industrial Evolutions! You're graduating. Fair one, congratulations, Chumley! Oh, that's nice of Crowler. I'm glad he's not a total dick. Alright. Last one here. The graduation match. Once again, Zane Truesdale proved to be the highest scoring duelist at Duel Academy. Having the top rank, he had the right to choose his opponents for his graduation duel. Congrats, Zane! You've done it again! You've got a high scores in this high school in the school, and you know what that means. You win the honor of being a headliner at Door Academy's prestigious graduation match. Why thanks. And tradition dictates that you get to pick whoever you want as your opponent. So who will it be, Zane? Will it be Lebowski? Alexis Rhodes? Jazz Princeton. Who will I duel? The only one worthy. It's time to give Jane his rematch. It was soon time for the graduation match. Jaden looks serious! That's gotta be a first! Oh, sick burn, Cyrus. Sick burn. I wonder if he's nervous. He ought to be so. 
All right, Zane. I guess made. I guess made the best duels win. Enough small talk. Let's do this. Zane seems to be a very uh, uninterested Kaiba. He doesn't exactly have that burning passion. It was lost a long time ago when he chopped his dick off. It was real tragic too, but he said to himself, I can't get, I can't let my hoardiness get in the middle of my court dueling training. But the only way I can feel pleasure now again is to feel the pain. You know, this actually explains a lot more than I intended. Hmm. Nothing good here. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just lose. What? What? Oh! Oh! Well, I guess no matter what I've done, that, that would happen anyways. Ah! Oh! Alright, come on, go on, G. Yes! Wait, hold on. Hold on, is, is the monster still stronger? Uh, no. Well, I guess we gotta use that card then. Right, actually, polarization! Bring out elements of hero Wild Edge! Probably the most useful cards in, in Jaden's deck so far. You know what card I can fusion summon? Like, ever? Right, Wild Edge, strut your stuff! I play Battle Guard Rage! Soon that blade is going to come back to me, Zane! Oh! Clever dick! Wait, what? That's the fusion! Did, oh, oh, he gets to choose. Shite, you know, never mind. Okay, he kind of caught me off guard there. Alright, let's do this one more time. You're, gonna trick, you're not gonna trick me twice, Zane! I know what you're up to! I'll stick it there, I know, I know what you're up to. I can get, I can get into your mind. Watch me play my tricks with you! I told y'all it wasn't in a good hand. I told y'all. But did you guys believe me? I'm not too sure. Better not be some of that Cyber End Dragon. Freaking stupid AI. I want this to be a good game, mate. I uh, kind of wish I had the other uh, Amateur Hero cards. Amateur Fusion cards. Would be nice. Cyber Kirin! Wait, what? Activate during the end phase you send the three why'd you do that for? You didn't have three monsters! You, you just activate cards just because you can! Oh! Oh no! Not that card! Last I heard that card banned! Is it still banned? Pretty sure they unbanned it. Which would which would be uh totally unfair by the way. Alright, well I just I, I guess I just gotta inflict as much damage as I can before that activates. Here's to the best! Oh, okay, had a kind of lapse in judgment there. What happened? I think I fainted or something. Oh, alright, oh, that's why I was attacking. Alright, I guess I just end my turn. Okay, 5200. How, how can I take that, that, that many life points down where he kicks my ass? Oh, uh, I guess it's become more of a pipe dream. Yep. Mm. Some good old pipe dream right there. Come on, you son of a bitch. Give me a good card. It's about some of his best monsters next. Uh. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I can't check my extra deck. I can't check my extra deck. I guess I'll just summon Elemental. You're a Tempest. Oh, wait, shoot. Never mind. Play man. Uh, shoot, okay. Uh, you can send one of them, one card, you can control the graveyard, so one once you control, but this guy's based on the field, the monster can be destroyed by battle. Alright, bring out that monster. First, I'm gonna bring out Elemental Hero Avian! 
See, this is why this is why um, polarization is really important. I guess this is one of those pop goes away on moments. And I am boned. Come on, look at the draw, look at the draw. Yes! And I'll play. Mirror. Wait. Shoot. It's right. Ugh. Right, because the thing is, I was, I was planning to bring out uh, elements here. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. You guy's an idiot. Guess I'll just bring this guy out. Elementor Hill, Flame Wing Man! And next I'll play Polarization! If I say all material shiny fire wingman to the graveyard, if I say all material flying wingman and all material spark man to the graveyard, how you bring it out? Helmets are hero, shining flying wingman in attack mode. And that's not all. Shiny flying wingman gains 300 attack for each hero monster in my graveyard. So shiny flying wingman now attacks your cyber dragon. Your, your cyber dragon, your regular, your regular ass cyber dragon. And you lose attack total his own attack. You lose. Wow, Zane, you really are great. I'm gonna miss ya. And I, you, Jaden. That's why I'm passing you the torch. Once I live here, you'll be the top. You'll be at the top. <laughs> Sorry. Lightheadedness. It's just making me all ooh. Yugi boy. Ooh, Kaiba boy. What do you have here? What are you gay? Yeah. Once I leave here, you will be the top student at this school. Despite your grades or your rank, you will be the best, so make me proud. Wow, just rub friggin' salt over the wound then, mate. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Let's play full play. I play while uh, I deal with a new breed of hero. That sounds gross. Alright, latest.